Hello, my name is Christy. I am a witch, and today I want to talk about warding amulets. What are they? Uh, why do I talk about them on my Instagram so much? And how do I get or create one? Let's just jump into it. Warding amulets are items that are created with the intention of or charged with the intention of protecting you, warding off negativity. That's pretty much it. Warding amulets can be necklaces, like I often wear necklaces, but they don't have to be just necklaces. I like to have warding amulets on me at mostly all times. Um, when I'm not wearing them, I keep them on my bedside. I just hung up like little hooks, so they just hang right next to where I sleep at night. And the reason that I like to wear them all the time is because I'm a very sensitive person. And sometimes just picking up on like other people's anxiety gives me anxiety and I already have anxiety of my own and then I just carry their anxiety with me and I just lop it on my back and I just pull it along with me. So um, to prevent me from carrying around uh, other people's emotions or negativity, I wear warding amulets. A lot and when I'm not wearing them as necklaces I probably have something in my pocket or in my bag on my person because that's just the type of person that I am it can be keychains or like sachets dog collars bracelets rings whatever you want it to be you can charge it to create a warding amulet with it you can also specifically choose crystals um, based off of protective properties or dispelling negativity properties, hematite, black tourmaline, uh, organite, clear quartz. You could totally charge a uh, charm. Or like I said, it can be anything that you want it to be. Another option is making a tiny spell jar. These are very popular on TikTok, I've noticed. Um, not necessarily necklace ones, but just spell jars in general. This one I made to look like a tiny mushroom. You can keep it in your pocket or on a keychain or on a necklace or um, tiny, super tiny little warding earrings, whatever uh, you feel is going to work best for you. So that is another potential warding amulet option. Now, not all warding amulets need to be charged or created. Uh, a lot of people believe that just having something with a protective symbol or rune, this is a protection rune. A lot of people believe that um, just having the uh, warding symbol is enough and you don't need to charge it from there. So if you are set with that, then you can just get yourself something that has a protective sigil or rune or symbol on it and you are good to go. But if you want to add a little extra boost or make a warding amulet out of something else, uh, you can follow the next steps that I will show you. Today, I will be showing you with this clear quartz. It's relatively cheap and easy to find, and you can kind of charge it to be whatever you want. It's the white candle of, uh, of crystals. It can be any of the things if you charge it and use it properly. The method that I use to uh, charge up my warding amulets with extra warding oomph, uh, I do this every full moon. You don't have to just do it on the full moon, but it's kind of like a nice little uh, monthly ritual for me and then I get to also literally charge it with, with moon power. The first thing that you're going to want to do is cleanse it of any potential energies that it might be carrying, um, either from the store or from absorbing negativity from walking around from existing <laughs> there are tons of different ways that you can cleanse things you can cleanse with sound you can cleanse with uh, smoke smoke cleansing you can cleanse with water if your item is water safe but my personal favorite method is to cleanse it with salt so i have this little dish that i have um, salt that i also have some bay leaves for extra negativity um, warding, banishing, and then I like to set just the crystal or the item. I don't really focus on the string too much, but you can put the whole thing in there. And I like to leave that overnight, um, the night before the full moon, or I mean, if it's on the full moon, that's okay, because you can always do it the next day while it's still full moon energy powers. And then uh, once it has been sitting in salt overnight, or at least for like, a couple of hours it doesn't have to be overnight but I like to do it overnight um, then uh, the next day or evening depending on when I have time to do full moon ritual stuff I will take my amulet and I will rub it 
to raise the energy in it. It won't always be like this nice little thing. Like if I had this, then I might only be rubbing one side of it, but I like to raise my energy with the amulet and focus on the um, energy or property that I want it to carry. So for me, it's usually I want to protect me from uh, negative energies or uh, uh, low vibrational emotions that I might pick up and carry with me or take somewhere. You could just um, focus on being protected. You can do that by creating like a protective visual bubble around you. While you are doing this, you can have that bubble raising up around you. Um, or you can just focus on the feeling of security, of safety of protection, something that gives you that feeling. If there's like music or a movie that gives you like a nice, comfortable, safe, protected feeling, you can have that on to really like enhance those vibes that are going to go into your amulet. So then I will hold my amulet after I have done that and sit with it and focus on that energy that is in it until it starts to, um, feel kind of heavy to me with that energy. I know that sounds weird, but I will just sit with it and I will focus on that feeling, that protected feeling. I start to feel it being uh, charged up, like it's a battery and it's it's got a little, little heft to it compared to when I started. And then I will leave it on a selenite plank in full moon or uh, in a windowsill where it can kind of full moon and charging and then I'll leave it overnight again and then it's ready to wear. You can do this as often as you need to. Um, I, like I said, do it every month with the full moon just because it's a nice little ritual for me even though I don't always feel like they need to be recharged. But you, like I said, you can do it as often as you like and you don't have to do the charging under the moon step. You don't even have to do the selenite plate step. Uh, you could just do the, the focusing on it and then it's good to go. Yes, that's it. This method could totally be used on dog collars. Um, like I said, any item that you want to use this method with, um, you totally can. You want to make a warning collar? Yeah, bud. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.